Mike Goats back in my garage. How's everybody doing? What's going on? What's happening? Um, We're back in my garage because they added a new bike. Here it is. I couldn't find a better version of one. So it's basically a chassis with an engine and a chain. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I have no idea, like, what this is going to take to put together. But we're going to do it. So let's buy, how much do they want for this? It better not be very, 247 bucks. Yeah, you know what? We're, ta oopsie, we're taking it. And we're going to take it home. And we're going to rebuild a uh, Harley Davidson knockoff, apparently. So let me see here. Um, Total garage for 100 bucks. Okay, let's, uh, let's take a taxi to the garage. All right, let's go. All right, here we go. We're home. Um. How are we going to get this in here? Is this even possible? Can I just pick this up? Is this? Yeah, we're just picking this up. We're going to bring this in the garage now. Um, it looks like a very old school Harley. If you know anything about your Harley Davidsons. Uh, will it even stand up under its own, uh, <laughs> own abilities? Let me see. No, it's just, it's just not willing to stand up because no rear wheel, right? So anyway, I don't know what all, I'm not that, like I said, I've never been much like, I've worked on enough bikes over the years but i'm not a bike mechanic by any stretch of imagination but for the looks of things this bike is nearly in mint condition so i think the first thing we got to do is pull the engine um and then work on the chassis we'll do the engine last uh I, again i'm not sure exactly what all goes on this so we're gonna find out the hard way let me see here loosen that up and then Oh no, what happened? Okay. There we go. And this engine should come out. Nice. Now, I don't think this one goes on the engine stand, does it? Mm, no, it does not. You can't. Oh, wait a minute. No, it does not. <laughs> okay. So engine, you're going to go, <clears throat> you're going to go aside from us. Sorry. Pardon me, Steve. All right. So let me see. We do have a chain here. I'm not sure. Yeah. The, the chain shot. Uh, I'm going to keep these parts. Because I know I don't have a lot of parts here. It looks like the... <sighs> now, call me crazy. But it looks like the kickstand might be rusty. Um, Okay, you're on my wrench there, bud. Okay, let me see. Yes, this this I understand. Kickstand... <laughs> rusty kickstands, I understand. Let me see. Now, I did notice two... That... This shock absorber. Yeah, that wheel's coming out. There we go. All right. Perfect. Yeah, this this uh this shock absorber is shot. All right, let me see here. Take this out. Okay, this is a, this is all right actually. Okay, let me see here. That came out. So where does the shock absorber fit into all this? Oh, okay. Wait a minute. What's that? Okay, that's the fender. Oh no, what happened? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how to get the here it is. Yeah, so this is a shock absorber. Uh, for the front right. So we're basically down to just a, a frame <laughs> and, and, and what looks like it, okay. where, where are you going frame? <laughs> it's like, it's like rocking itself out of existence. Like, nah, bro, I'm out. Peace. <laughs> where, are you, where are you going? Okay. Stay here, bud. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Just relax. You know what? Just, just take it all in stride here. All right. So I guess we're flipping over <sighs> to the Hardy. Uh, and then I'm, is it the, is it the V2 or the 500 CC? I, I don't, I don't know. Um, wait a minute. Will the engine say, <laughs> let me see here. What are you? Uh, you're a thousand CC. What? No. Let me see. Ooh, let me in here. 
500. This is the V2. Okay, so this is the V twin, I'm assuming is what I mean. Um Yeah, we're not worried about that right now. So we're gonna go. Okay, so we need a front, left, and right. We gotta get this thing on its wheels. Let's put it that way. So shock absorber. Shock absorber, right? We have one front rear. We rear. We have one front rim. We need a rear rim. And then we need a, oh God, what size was that tire? Oh no, what did I just do here? Let me see. Okay, so 19 inch rear tire and then we're gonna need a 19 inch, or sorry, 19 inch rear rim and then we're gonna need a 19 inch rear tire. Okay, excellent, okay. So let's go piece all this together and then we'll get a new kickstand and we'll see if we can't get it to at least stand up on its own. I would prefer that. I love a new challenge. Um, so excellent. Okay, here we go. All right. Did you go? Did you go on? Oh, you did. Okay, excellent. It's going to need air, though. So we're going to have to put air in it, most likely. Most likely. Okay, let me see. Give me that. <sighs> okay, where's the little, where's the Schrader valve? There it is. I'm not sure if we can blow tires, but we are as full as we're going to get, I think. So, oh, geez. Okay, crap. Okay, drop this, please. There we go. So there's this. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now we got to get the front forks in. Or shock absorbers. Okay, the whole thing is just, this is some sort of monotube design. Okay, let me see. There's that. Okay, all right. And then we'll put the other one on. Okay, okay, perfect, perfect. Perfect. All right. So I think we can lock these down again. I don't know how to do this that well. This is not my forte, but it's not the point. Stop rocking. Stop rocking out with your car. Never mind. Anyway, let me see. Front wheel. In oh my God. <laughs> I was not, was not intending that to happen. Okay. This has got a break on it, which is good. All right, let's uh, bolt you down. All right, I'm assuming it gets bolted down on both sides. Yep, here we go. What's that What's that shock doing? <laughs> what is that shock? Okay, everything is really weird about this. Straight up. Okay, let's... Is this a hard tail? It appears to be. Okay, let me see here. Put that on. Put that on. Okay, now let's get a... Let's get a kickstand for this... Uh, is it, would that be under accessories, do you think? Oh, I don't even know. Okay, kickstand. Here it is. Perfect. Okay, let's put a kickstand on it. And at least, okay, I think from this point, it won't let me pick you up. What? Why, why, why won't you let me pick you up? There we go. Thank you. Oh, here we go. Okay, now, this should at least stand up on its own now. Although this shock absorber stands up on its own. I'm not entirely sure what the deal is there, but... Okay, now can we just, uh, nope. <sighs> Aha, there we go, look. <laughs> it's a very basic chassis. Okay, let me see here. Um, we could probably put the brake back on, but brakes can always be done later. It's not a huge important thing to have the brakes. All right, let's, um, I think we're going to need a new front fender. That or this has got to be de-rusted, which we, and this is, is this just dirty? Hang on a sec. Or is it rusty? I can't tell. Oh yeah, that's that's definitely rusty. We could probably just... That is the original color of the bike, which we should probably attempt to paint. Do we want to just try to salvage this? Because it's, it's here already? Alright, let me see. I do like salvaging parts so I don't have to spend the money on them. <sighs> Okay, got that little bit of rust. That little bit. Let's turn this around. Uh, see what other rust we got here. Oh, there's a little rust on the bottom side there. Oh, look, it's on the on the tab here. There we go. And that can go, and that can go. How are we looking? Oh, my goodness. This is not looking great, actually. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we may have to... Oh, 
we may have to replace this because I'm struggling to get into the gap here. Mind the gap. It's kind of, you know what, we're just going to have to get a new one. So we're going to have to get a front fender, probably a rear fender, probably a seat, gas tank. Like, again, I don't know bikes that well. It's going to need handlebars. Uh, my assumption is it's going to need handlebars. It looks like the whole inside of the light is missing. So uh, let's see here. Let me see. Um, so, ooh, big seat, medium seat. Ooh, I don't know. What kind of seat do we want on this? Do we want to get a big seat? How big is our how big is our ass? I, nobody knows. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at this. It's got the big uh the thing like easy rider kind of thing going. This is a hundred dollars for the seat. Let's grab that. Um I don't see any. Well, there's handlebars here. Let's buy that. Let's buy a handlebar left and right. Why does the right one cost more? Pegs? Sure. I don't know how that works. We need a speedometer, 100 percent and we need a backrest. All right, let's just, we got all this crap. Okay. All right, big seat. Get on there, bud. Oh, look at this. We're going to be easy riding the sugar out of this. Okay, how does that go? Oh, it's just little bolty bolts right there. Okay, let me see. Wrench? Oh, there. Okay, both of them are in the same spot. Jeez and crackers. Okay, here we go. Bolt you down. Yes, yes. I, I feel... Peter Fonda would be quite impressed with my ability to adapt to any situation. Okay, let me see. Okay, this is this is kind of going. I, again, I don't know if I'm doing this right, but we're doing it. Pegs. No, the pegs are for you, just for your feet at the front, right? I thought, oh, they're oh, back here. There we go. Okay, pegs are on. Uh, we're sort of on. Where, where's the, there it is. Now, the Kickstarter could be a bit of a problem. Is this got a, there we go. And then this side's probably got one side of it. There we are. Excellent. Okay. Pegs are on. And now we need, that's a handlebar handlebar. This is a spinover. Okay. Let's put this, this on. This is, this is always fun. What This goes around the back, doesn't it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> exactly. All right. All right. We're going to be riding this, this hog down the road's chopper any, any minute now. Uh, you remember that show, Orange County Chopper? What a stupid show that was. All right, let me see here. I gotta put this. Oh, what's this? Is this the? This is a handlebar, and this is a speedometer of sorts. Okay, we'll put this on. So it's nice to know how fast you're going. Excellent. Okay, so you can, can obey all the laws. And this on this YouTube channel, we obey all the laws. Uh is it just that one? Oh yeah. Okay, we're fine there. I used to have a bike that would had a little a speedometer on it, and it would come loose <laughs> over time, which I don't know which one this was. So let's just try each handlebar and see if it works. There we go. Done. And done. Okay. Well, it, it's starting to look like a bike. It needs a gas tank, mind you, but we can we can probably figure that out. I wonder if there's different size gas tanks. Okay. I've seen, in the junk card, it was listing their, how many liters they held, so I'm just curious if there's a... Like, okay, excellent. Okay, so. Oh, that was another thing. We don't have a headlight. Or do we have it? We do we have a headlight in the pod, or is it just No, we, we got the headlight pod. We don't have the headlight. So let's get a chromed headlight, just because you know, Harley. And there we go. This can go on. It doesn't have a light in it yet, but we can we can do that later. Does that just pop in there and just off as a Hmm. I don't know. I, I don't know how to get it back off again. Okay. Well, it's on there now. I'm not sure it's got a light in it. It didn't look like it had a light in it. Well, well, how now, brown cow? What? How are we going to? Oh, no. <laughs> okay. So what else in this thing do we not do we not get? We got pegs. We got a kickstand. We got a seat. We got. Uh, oh, here we go. We didn't get the brake pedal and the clutch lever and all that, which. Which pedal is this? This is. I just want to take this off for a second. You are. I thought so. Okay, so you're the brake pedal. Now, I'm assuming the clutch pedal and everything attaches to the engine. 
there's a clutch or not clutch pedal. The clutch lever and brake lever are both going to go on the steering wheel. That that part's obvious. Um, uh, that can go on there. Okay. Where's the? Well, there it is. Excellent. Okay. Again, like I said, I don't work on bikes on the regular, so whoop. Yeah. There we go. Not anymore anyway. <sighs> okay, so now we got handles and the clutch and everything's installed. That's great. Okay, so that takes care of everything here. I think. Let me see. Pegs. Yeah, it's on this. Okay, yeah. So we're good there. So suspension. Um, the rear doesn't get a suspension. We have all this except the chain, which we're going to need a new one. Uh, but that can come later. The wheel sprocket. Does that have the sprocket on it? Let me see. It appears not to have a sprocket. Okay, so let's grab that. Okay, there we go. Let's put this on. Now, can I put this on without it? Oh, beautiful. Okay. Okay, I was wondering if I had to take off the wheel to do it, but I guess we can. There it is. Excellent. Just put on tight and start clicking all over the place. All right, so now we got a sprocket on there for the chain. Okay, so we got all the shock. There we go. Like the suspension is, is done. Accessories we've done. Does it have any windows? Probably not. <laughs> interior. Oh, okay. So interior is just more out is more stuff. Body. Okay. Some stuff is doubled up. Okay, the triple tree is, is on this. This is not rusted or anything, is it? Okay, I think we're good there. I think that's that part there, right? Yeah, okay. Backrest is there. Front fender and rear fender. Front fender. What's the difference? Oh, wait a minute. You can do chopper bars on this? Ooh, hang on a second. Do we want to make this in like to a full-fledged chopper? I didn't realize that was a thing. <gasps> Ooh, okay, well, hang on a second. Oh, suddenly everything has changed. <laughs> okay, we got a 15-liter gas tank. We'll take that. I don't sure what the difference is. Like, these look more exaggerated, maybe. So let's get those. Okay, those handlebars have gots to go, buddy. All right, let me see. Okay, so we got to... Oh, yeah, we're going to have the ape hangers here. All right, let's do this. Um. All right, let me see. How do we How do we get this off, the handlebar off? Okay, well, here we go. We can't not. Like, you can't show me ape hangers and then not... Ooh. <laughs> and then not give me any of that. Let me see here. Oh, oh God, it's so bad. Okay, do it, do it. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Can we like can can we can we use the same stuff again though? Please, peace. There, take that off and take that off. Okay, now where's the where's the screws on the or the bolts on this? I always call them screws. They're bolts. I know this logically. Okay, I see now. Okay, that can come off. Candlebars loose. All right, good. I would assume it uses the same. Oops, is that the wrong side? There we go. Okay, I must have it upside down. All right, there we go. Again, this is what I get for not reading it. <laughs> there we go. And then uh, clutch. Uh, and there we go, break. Okay, perfect. Let's tighten that up, and then we'll put the uh, other things on there. Let me see here. Let's see. Where are we? Okay, I think that's good. And there we go. Okay, and then we'll put the speedometer back on. Okay, excellent. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> We're going... <laughs> 
Oh, this rebel has no cause. All right, let me see here. Oh, yeah, we got the gas tank can go on. I do appreciate the fact that it's not painted. Uh, although it would be nice if you could order parts painted in this game. Okay, how do you how do you tighten down the gas tank? Somebody's gonna have to somebody's gonna have to help brother out here. All right, let me see. There's no way that this just sits on there. There. Well, okay. Whoops. All right. Oh no. No! Okay. We may have knocked our bike over. All right, let me see here. Is it underneath and I just don't see it? Uh. Get off of there for a second, please. Okay, no, dude, I don't want to pick you up. I want to pick up the bike. All right, let's get this back on its feet. Okay. Okay. I must be missing it. Is it is it under the seat maybe? Or is there something else that it bolts to that we don't have yet? Well, let's leave it for now. We can always figure out how to bolt that on. This is the rear fender. Mhm. Mm yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, it's got it's on there now. Okay. There's no way it's just one bolt. Apparently it is just one bolt. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, whatever you say, bud. What do you got underneath there? Here is front fender. Excellent. Okay, this can go on here. Once I find the bolt for that. I thought I just saw it. Where is it? <laughs> Dude, don't do this to me right now. I Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah. And yeah. No. Okay, dude, you got to go back on here. I have no idea how that stays on. Like, I must... I got to be missing something, but I, I don't... I don't see what I'm missing here. Well, again, maybe there's a part I'm missing that has to attach to or something. All right, what else we got? Okay, so that takes care of most of that. All right, let's see. Where was that body? So the brakes are going to be easy enough. Um, The brake disc goes in the front. I'm assuming the drum goes on the rear. Because we don't have that. So let's, let's do that up. Let me see here. Um... We got the front disc already on, right? Okay, where do you go then? You just got to go on the back. Boom. Oh, you did. You just you just went on there like no problem. Um I don't entirely know how to reach that in there. Okay. Again, I'm assuming Okay, that, that might help. Okay, let me see. Okay, I bet you that just holds it on. Nice. All right. And we do have a front caliper already. Isn't it still in good shape? Yeah, it's all right. So we'll put this on. If, again, we can see it. All right. I'm wondering if we got to get the seat off. In order to see the, oh, here we go. Okay. Yeah, I wonder if we got to get the seat off in order to see. Maybe there's tabs like right underneath. Let's just take a look real quick because this is pretty easy to get off. Okay, is that is that on now? Oh yeah, this is fine. 
There it is. Perfect. Okay, that will that should hold it on. There we go. Put the seat back on. Even though there's more than one, that'll hold it in place. All right, so we got a uh, most of a bike. <laughs> it's going to need brake lines and stuff, right? Right? Okay, let me see. So that's the brakes. Then we go to the engine. Oh, no, this whole thing has got to be torn apart. It, the whole thing is going to be garbage. So this time we should try to remember how it comes apart because last time we didn't. And it took us a while to get her all put back together. But, and I, I'm not big on remembering how things go back together. So I'm not super worried about it. Okay, this exhaust pipe is shot, so that can come off. Um, This is valve cover. Off you come. Okay. And off. This uh, the cylinder head's in good shape, right? Let me just double check on the inside. Oh, spark plugs there. We should probably take. Am I drifting backwards? I am. Oh, I'm standing on the exhaust. We should probably check the spark plug. This uh, cylinder two looks. Oh, well, this head gasket is definitely shot, hundred percent. It looks like, and I'm just saying this out loud right now, that this these these pistons are all right. And this is where everything starts falling apart, because since I don't know bike engines as well as I know other things, I have to get inside the case to look at everything. Oh, wait, maybe I can look through the case to see. Hang on. Oh yeah. oh, yeah, it looks like we got some damaged parts on the inside, maybe. Oh, no, maybe not. Okay, being able to look through the case is pretty sweet. All right, let me see. Okay, yeah, we got something going on back here. That's shot. But everything else internally looks pretty good. So let's uh, eh. pick her back up. Eh, let's get her on the table here. Whoa, okay, yep, yeah, it's not going to stay like that. So let's stay it like this. Can we do that, please? Thanks, guy. Okay, here we go. Let's see what's behind door number one. Now, that just might be the color of that. Now, let me see. I thought that's what the color was in, in the book. Oh, no, it is definitely not that color. Hang on a sec. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Oh, this is this is very very nice actually. Okay, well let's pop out that uh, alternator. Okay, so it is shot. Uh, put my wrench over somewhere. There is one. This is why I keep two wrenches in the shop now. And pop this out. Bloop. Oh no, there we go. Thank you. Okay, is that the alternator rotor right? No, that's not right. That can't be right. Okay, let me see. I got to... Okay, is that... I just want to pop this off for a second. What are you? Filter cover. Uh, the filter's in good shape. Uh, we can keep that. There we go. And then on it goes. Okay, so here's what I'm wondering if, if there's just parts missing. Because uh, I don't see a clutch. And I see an alternator rotor here that needs probably installing on this, uh, this little bit here. There we go. So there, that's that. And then we can put this back on it. Now, the one thing we didn't check... Uh, Okay, like this could be missing parts on the inside and I wouldn't know until I pulled it apart, but I would say from the looks of things, like I'm wondering if the clutch is missing or anything, like like what's, what goes back here? And what's behind this thing? <laughs> let's, let's, uh, let's pull the case apart and find out. 
I will learn as you go kind of guy. All right, here we go. I'm assuming that's the drain plug for the oil. Oh, I would say there's some internal bits missing here from the... No, you need to go back where you belong, buddy. Again, I, I don't know that much about bike engines here, so we're, 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 we're getting there. Slowly. All right. Perfect. Okay, so let's look here. So we're going to crankshaft. I think we're going to have to pull the whole thing apart. I think that is the only way. That or we build an engine from complete scratch, right? Like, I think that may be the only way to handle this. Because we don't, like I said, we don't know enough about it to just start taking it apart. Okay, there we go. Okay, this is like the chain guard of some sort, right? Yeah, okay. But this appears to be missing a lot of guts. <laughs> so, like, there's a bunch of holes here that I feel like things need to be inside of. So... Let's go see what they have there. Like, I'm not seeing. We got the alternator and all that in there, so that's all right. But definitely this side of the engine needs uh, a bit of a touch up here. See, I don't like it when they. Oh, no. I don't like when they give you an engine, but they don't uh, have any instructions on how to put it together. Like, this is. Okay, well, you know what? Okay, well, let's see. We have There should be two halves to the engine, right? Crankcase A, crankcase B, crankcase cover. Obviously, it needs the carburetor, the cylinder heads. Oh, that's fine. Do We, we must have a crank, because that those, those pistons would have fallen out without one. Um, oh, This might be a full rebuild and tear down, honestly, because, like, Again, I don't know enough about it where I can't do this. I can't just, like, fix it. Okay, let's see. Let's start with a... Okay, let's look at what we let's look at what we got. Here we go. Let me see. Let's tear this right down. All right, so let me see here. Okay, so this uh, can come out. So this is what? Crankshaft gear. And then that is the camshaft gear. All right, let's uh, take these out. There we go. Okay, here we are. Oh, yeah, everything just fell. There's the crankshaft. <laughs> so what are you? Are you, you the clutch at the end of the crankshaft? Is that... Is that what you are? That's the alternator rotor. Got it. Okay. So as much as I can tell from all this. <sighs> Wait a minute. I thought that that went, oh yeah, because it fell out because it was attached to that. Okay, that makes sense. So we don't have any, okay. So we got, these are the gears for in this side. We got the clutch, we got the cam gear and the crankshaft gear, which is fine. I would love to be able to put all this together as one assembly and then dump it in. You know what I mean? There, that'll stay on there now. So that, okay, that, okay. Now this will just go right back in the case at some point, right? Yeah, like this. So what we are missing, it looks like, is any sort of clutch. Like the clutch gear, maybe the chain sprocket. So let's see here. So this is the clutch. This is the clutch gear. Where do you go, buddy? Uh, 
All right, because I don't see a clutch gear anywhere, so this would be important information to have. This is the cover, crankcase cover. Yeah, so like I said, I apologize for not knowing exactly what I'm doing, but this is not, definitely not my forte. But we're going to figure this out. Let's see, we got that fuel line we're going to have to do. Gearbox. We're going to need that probably to attach all this to. Do we have a camshaft? I don't think we have a camshaft, do we? Whoop. There's a... Doesn't attach to this. So this is a chain sprocket. This is going to go somewhere, I'm sure. All right, let me see. Put this back in here. Well, we'll figure that out in a second. All right, so uh, we need. here's the transmission or the gearbox. Oh, here we go. Boom. All right, so that went in perfectly. Okay, that went in relative. That went in way easier than it should have. Okay, easy, easy peasy. All right, no problem. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Stop moving around, please. Tightened. Camshaft. That goes in when the case is in, so that's fine. All right, so there's that. Again with the, oh, here we go. Where do you go, chain sprocket? Well, you must go on the other side where it's rocking and rolling here. Ah, here we go. Eh. Oh, no, it fell out. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, this is not. I feel like something needs to be bolted down here, and I'm not bolting it down here yet. All right, let's go look around here. Let me see. What did I just kick? What are you? Are you the clutch? I, I already, I think it's already got a clutch, bud. There. Okay, we're putting the clutch on. And tightening these down. Why was that red? Yeah, that's not going to go on, I think, until right near the end. Okay, is there, am I missing something here to hold all this in? Because I, I feel like it's just floating around in here. Maybe the other side of the case holds it together. All right, let me see. Okay, so we don't probably, we already have a camshaft. We know that. We have a crankshaft. Crankshaft covers. I'm pretty sure we have everything at this point. Um, we don't have a starter pedal, obviously, but. I mean, we may not have an air filter either, but we can check that. That'll be on the outside and easy to access, so. What about the rockers? Where do they go? I didn't see rockers, but. I may have just missed them. Yeah, the rockers are going to catch me off guard because uh, center cover. This is the head. That's a cylinder. Now, the head will be where the valves are, but I don't see that being a thing. Oh, here it is. Yeah, look at that. Excellent. Okay, rockers in. Okay, so does that mean the other side didn't have a rocker in it? Mm, maybe not. Well, the other side doesn't even have a head on it. So <laughs> there is that as well. So we need to get a cylinder head, obviously. But this cylinder head needs a gasket. 
Uh, and this head gasket is shot. So we're going to need a couple of head gaskets. Uh, and then we should be, let's see, here we go. Head. Need to get some head, head, head gasket. There it is. Going to buy two. Okay, where is it? Oh, no. Got one. Okay, excellent. Now, yeah, you're going to have to stand up for this to work. I don't need you all falling out again, please. Oh, no. Stop. Okay. Will this go on now? Okay, perfect. And then we should be able to put... Is it not that? Okay. Oh. So we do need a cylinder two. So we'll grab that too while we're at it. Let's see. Cylinder two. Perfect. Oh God. The, the, the guts freaked out. The gut. <laughs> The guts freaked out. <laughs> okay. Oh, they stayed in though, which is like, that's pretty good. All right, let me see here. Okay, so we got to grab the other head gasket, but why won't this, is it just because, oh, here, oh, it's, it's side matched, I bet you. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. We're going to need another, yeah, because like this doesn't, this doesn't want to go on here, but it'll go on that side. Okay. Well, we'll put it on. Wait a minute. Gasket. Give me that gasket on this side. It doesn't matter what side it goes on. So we'll put this on. Bam, bam. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, there we go. Now we need a, another head gasket, which we do have in the floor here somewhere. Does anybody know where my head gasket went? Okay, I'm going to buy a new one because I'm never going to... Oh, wait a minute. Head gasket. Okay, <laughs> there it is. I found it. Don't judge me. I'm doing. I'm doing my best here. Perfect. Okay. So we need another head, Ugh. but which one did you buy? Cause the other one wouldn't go on. Is it this one for 138 bucks? No. Okay. So is it, which one did I buy? Crap. Ah, poop. <laughs> is it this one? We are buying cylinder heads at an incredible rate. This one. Because it's angled away. I wish there was like different names for them or something. Okay, well, I guess we're going to do this and put the roller rockers in there. So now we have a bunch of one side. And you know what? I don't want to talk about it. All right, let's go in here and we'll grab the rockers. Where are they? Okay, rockers from that side. It doesn't look like they're side specific. So we'll just dump these in there. Like this, and okay, why can't I tighten that down? And then we need a couple of valve covers, right? Right, okay, let me see. Valve cover, there's a cylinder head cover, there we go. Two of them look like cake pans, you know, like if we're going to go make some cake. Well, at the same time, I just want to tell everybody I got so much cake that it should be illegal. Okay, well, let's get this on there. Okay, now we got to tighten it down with my handy dandy floor wrench. Excellent. Floor wrench. Excellent. Okay, this is... Again, I feel like this should be bolted down somehow before I try to put the cover on it. 
Now this goes somewhere else. I think, yeah, it goes on that side, but I should probably put the case together first. Okay, there we go. Okay, pick up this wrench. There we go. There we go. You and you. Okay, now that's all nicely bolted down. Where'd it go? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, so what comes out of this hole then? Wait a minute. Is that where the starter goes, maybe? Now the starter wouldn't be there. Yeah, that's the chain sprocket right there. Okay. Okay, where'd the alternator go? You know what? We're not going to worry about it. Get in there. <laughs> it doesn't need a charge. It'll be fine. Okay, so this is the chain, right? So what... <sighs> what goes in there, then? Is that where the starter goes? Like, I'm not entirely sure here, so let's just... <sighs> well, it's going to need a gear lever, for sure. Um... Do we have the starter thing? I don't even know. Also, where is the starter? There's a starter pedal right there. All right. And also, we're going to want to check the... Um... Oh, here it goes. Okay, so I think, I think this goes... Oh, wait a minute. I can't even see where it goes. This may be coming apart again to get this back in. Oh, it doesn't need to come apart. Okay, excellent. Excellent. And then the starter pedal will go on the end of the... Was that the starter pedal I put in? Yeah, that'll go on the end of there, but we got to get the case on it first. Or we could just do that as well. Okay, so... <laughs> Gear lever, and then, all right, so, let me see here. Where does the gear lever go, then? Well, first of all, let's uh, tighten that up. And this up. All right, and this can go on like such. Now I'm assuming, okay, there's something I was missing and I was like, I should really look into that. And now <laughs> I can't remember what it was. And this will go on here like this, but we should probably get the chain on first. Oh yeah, the spark plugs, that's what it was. Okay, where's the spark plugs on this puppy? We only have one spark plug, so let's pull it out. Where's the, okay, here it is, spark plug. Uh, there it is, spark plug wrench. And we will pull out this one spark plug. Take a look at it. I'm assuming, oh, see, it's probably not very good. Actually, it's not bad. All right, put that back in. Let's go grab a new spark plug. Oh, oh, stuck on the door. There we go. I need some sparkity spark spark. Wait a minute. Where does the air filter go? We had a filter. Which filter was it, though? I'm assuming I just got to buy... Spark plugs... In general, right? Like, I can do... Just any spark plug will work. Where are you, bud? Ok, 
Got a search thing would be great for this. So let's go back to the Hardy and then just the V2. All right, there we go. Ah, spark plugs. Give me one of these, please. There we go. And then we'll take this. Oh, no, we got to use the socket here with this. Excellent. Um, I think this is, as, well, we need an exhaust, obviously, but I think we could probably fire it on the bike. But I did want to check on the filter situation. Like, was it, was it this one here? Oopsie. What is that? Oil filters. The oil filter's fine. So where does the air filter go? I'm definitely very concerned about where the air filter goes. Because here's an air filter. But I don't know... And then I saw like a, a filter cover for an air filter. Look at this. So where do these go? Or is this for a different machine? Because I don't see any spot for this to go. Right? Does anybody else see a spot for this to go? <laughs> But it says this is the air filter for, look, it's for a, a 500cc and a V2, which is this. Behind here, wait a minute. That's the oil filter. There isn't even a spot for this to go. Or where does, like, this go? Uh huh. So maybe there's like a for the exhaust. There's like an intake and a and an output too. Maybe let me see here. So let's uh. These both say exhaust. So let's grab that exhaust all right let's see what this does it tips the whole bike off the thing but that's q <laughs> okay all right and then we'll grab the other exhaust which one was that one that was the more angular one so what do we got here oh no i always do this to myself is it long and straight or has it got the big curl in it it's got the big curl in it and we'll take, oh, this is the one I just bought, isn't it? Oh my God, I'm so stupid. Okay, just wasting money. And so it's this one. For the other exhaust pipe, let me see here. Yep, that just makes it fly around. All right, so. Not bad. We got to put this in here. And then bolt it down oh no where does this go now did it have a camshaft gear was that maybe it already had one I don't even know at this point okay let me see here I'm so lost on this already let me see here okay Yep, it does not like, okay. <laughs> Just, it's not cooperating in the slightest. All right, here we go. Stand up, please. I need this engine to go in, and then we're going to bolt it down, and then we're going to attach the other thing. Okay, so let's see here. Um, Bolt us down. Okay, let me see. Where's the thing? There and there, and then we'll try to attach this other exhaust.
perfect. We're going to need the carburetor, which is where the air filter probably goes. Dude, would you let me in here, please? So where's the carb? Carburetor. Here is the carburetor. All right. This should be able to plop right in here. Excellent. Where's the... There it is. Take this. Okay. Now the carburetor should go right in there. There we go. It's a dual feed carburetor. That's pretty neat, oh burrito. Okay. Well. Air filter, please. There we go. And then I don't think we need this air filter cover. I think this is just lies. <laughs> Unless this is a whole air filter. Hang on. Is it like one assembly maybe? Like it's internalized and so it's just a different type of air cleaner? Yeah, I think it's just a different type of air cleaner. Instead of having the, uh, the exposed filter like that. Well, it wants to kind of start, but it still needs wires and stuff and a fuel line. But I'm going to have to end it here because I'm out of time. But so far, I think. Oh, no, this is not correct. Okay. I think we're on the way here, but I got to remember. <sighs> Can somebody tell me? Oh, my God. Would you just. Oh, my God. Why Why do you insist on going that way? What? Why? <laughs> Why is it just, why is it desperately needing to tip over there? Oh, there we go. Finally. Someone needs to tell me if I installed this. Camshaft sprock. Did I already put one in? I don't remember. Uh, but we do need help with that. But either way, you know me. Love every view I get. Scapegoat. This this has been a struggle. And, I, and it looks really cool. Though. Out. Out.